fangku. Here we are back in my garage, everybody. It's changed a little bit. We got the sofa here now. Workbench there. All of Pizarski's stuff there. And the Lexus is orange. What is, is going on? All right, guys, so it's been a while since my last video. I have plenty to explain, especially that the Lexus is now orange. Um, I am literally on fumes right now. I've been up since 8 a.m. I was supposed to be up at 6.30 a.m. to make it to the dyno for 9. Um, I made it for the dyno at 10. Uh, I forgot my steering wheel. I'm halfway there and I look at the rear view mirror in uh, Ryan's pickup truck and I notice that there's no yellow bar like this thing right here. The little yellow bar, Not, ignore the poop, ignore the poop. And uh, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot the steering wheel at home. So, make it to the dyno. Here, let's just chill on the sofa here for a second. Ah, oh, that's, that's pretty comfortable. So we make it to the dyno, we bring the Lexus onto the dyno with uh, vice grips as a steering wheel. I'm getting tuned by the same guy. It's Carl from a KMP Speed Shop. He did a great job with the previous tune. I never had a problem with the tune, technically. So uh, I decided to go back with him. He was free, price was right. And I said, fuck it, let's do it. Let's get this car ready for Hollow Bash. Because, yeah, surprise, we're, we're getting this car ready for Hollow Bash. Anyways, he starts doing the RPM by RPM, starts adjusting the fuel. Uh, because we have a 2.4 liter now instead of a 2 liter plus the cams and all this blah 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 stuff is running lean so uh, now it's all the fuel is starting good starting to do power runs so yeah um, the clutch started slipping <laughs> uh, like 200 wheel which is really cool even though it's only 200 wheel it started slipping uh, we made that at like I think it was 2000 rpm at 3 psi versus the 2 liter last year on low boost we made 210 wheel at like 6000 rpm there's something wrong with that 2 liter let's just let's just face it here um so anyways the clutch is toast so i then uh, proceeded to drive home drop off the car pissed off and sad a little bit sad a lot a lot sad let's be honest here and uh yeah went to work did my 10 hour shift i was supposed to do a 12 hour shift but hell no i am so so tired so i did my uh so i did my 10 hour shift and we're here in the garage because uh i'm about to pull the engine the trans get the clutch off um to bring to ottawa clutch tomorrow and get this uh clutch disc uh re repucked now the reason why I think it slipped at like 200 wheel is uh, last winter I had everything inside a box and everything got oily because the oil filter housing was also in the box. So I think there might have been a bit of oil that got onto the clutch packs and I thought it didn't really matter since they're ceramic clutch packs and then I just cleaned them out with brake clean but uh, supposedly oil gets in your clutch disc it doesn't matter if it's ceramic it'll absorb some of the oil especially having been months in that box so the clutch absorbed some oil and then now it slips that's my theory or with these brand new uh brian crower uh, 276 camshafts it idles uh pretty sick but it uh vibrates like a motherfucker that uh, all the pressure plate bolts backed out a bit and now it's slipping because I did not put Loctite because I ne I've never put Loctite on pressure plate bolts before and I've, uh, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna start to get to work. I'll update you guys when I get more info. Um, but yeah, let's get to work.
<sighs> All right, well, we can see she spun. These pucks are all glazed. There is some like oily residue, but I don't know. I'm gonna bring this to the clutch shop tomorrow and see what they say. You can see. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so clutch disc. At its fattest, we got 306, 306, 306, 3065, 306. She's supposed to be at 330, so yeah. 30 under tolerance. <laughs> Actually, Mitsubishi recommends 330 new and then uh, replace at 320. So we're at 306. That means this clutch was probably slipping all of last year. Yeah, this clutch was probably slipping all of last year, but I didn't feel it because it was down on horsepower and I don't know. It's weird that it didn't really feel like it was slipping at full boost and everything, but I guess I'll get this uh, these pads changed for thicker ones. I'm gonna talk to Pizarski and see what he says. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. I've done a lot. I've done quite a bit. There actually is like a bunch of oil um, alongside the motor because the valve cover was leaking every, a little bit everywhere. There's a little bit of oil inside the uh, bell housing, but the flywheel was really dry. The pressure plate didn't seem to have much oil on it either, or it didn't really have any oil. There was like a small, small bit of oil, but that could have been, I don't think that that's what made it slip. I think this is just, she's toast, baby. <laughs> Funny story, this is actually a, BMW clutch disc that I got the splines changed to be a GM because uh, I was a little bit on a rush last year when I was doing the uh, AR5 transmission. So I just got the splines changed by uh, Ottawa clutch. Never took the time to measure the thickness of the pucks, but uh, it was probably undersized from the start because I doubt I, I did like two and a half drift events. And one of them I was always in second gear. Yeah, that's probably why it didn't really slip much because I was only like second gear and I barely ever used third. Yeah, no way this clutch would have held uh, in fourth, that's for sure. All right, well, I'm gonna message Pizarski and ask him what he thinks we should do. Everything else on this clutch looks to be in good shape. Just needs to replace the clutch disc. All right, that's it for tonight. What's popping in? Well, there's an ant on her arm. That's what's popping. There's an ant on her arm. This flies on mine. Okay. And she's cruising. And then there's a rear main seal to go here. And there's another rear main seal we gotta put on that engine. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> So, we got the engine out yesterday, went to Ottawa Clutch today. Uh, there didn't seem to be really like a big leak at the rear main seal because it's a brand new one. It's this one here. But it's a little wet. Oh, way too zoomed in. Anyways, it's a little wet, so decided why not, let's change it. I had a spare one, but I also had the one right here that is uh, off my uh, blown 4G63. El Kaboom. <laughs> El Ka window. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this rear main seal that I know 100% was not leaking from that engine on here. 
then uh, once this engine is in this Evo, this green Evo, <laughs> then uh, I'll put this up and then install the rear main seal, then put it on the engine stand, turn it around, take the oil pan off, and we'll see where we we'll go from there. What you doing? So, when I made the turbo drain on the oil pan, all right, I put it just like under a bolt. The, the only way I can take it out is with like, I, I could have put it here. I could have put it here, not to. but I didn't. I put it, I put it like right under the bolt where I can't put a socket or anything. So now you're laying on the floor trying to fix it? Yeah. I mean, like, not fix it, but like trying to take this bolt out. Because we're taking the pan off, guys. We are. Just not in this position. It's oh. a little bit difficult to do in this position. Because that one's in the air. We're watching uh, Enrique and Is what? Something in Glacius. Enrique and Glacius. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think so. And, yeah. And the other things we're doing is trying to make a lot of horsepower. Because of my turbo. Yes, thank you, Evo Shop. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, plug, plug. Um, if you guys don't know what this turbo is, it's a TO4E Turbonetic 6062 with a 6.63 AR exhaust housing. Good was, for up to 600 horsepower. That was Tech Talk from uh, Sean's chin. That's. I'm gonna have to put a photo of my car over that section. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. like that it must have had at least 200 horsepower you did at least 3,000 rpm at least 3,000 rpm I yeah. was barely right like, yeah all right hell yeah well fix the throttle issue I added this spring but I guess it doesn't, it's not stiff enough well, doesn't do anything I, I might have to play around with it again but now it's supper time um, yeah I, we didn't film anything of putting the new clutch putting in the engine I was just like it's go time, bro. And it's in there. It's in there. Was it like two hours? Like really of like... Of like actual work? Yeah, like you saw <laughs> me. I was barely working. I was just taking it easy. Just, just chill, chilling. Chilling to the music. Chilling. How's that? We cleaned up, the, cleaned up the garage a bit. We yeah. Dirty earlier. Yeah. My bins. It's always my shit. Oh boy. More. Just water though. Yeah, yeah, I so distilled water this time. Which is smart. With water weather. But I swear to God, if this block gets rusty inside, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, I know. It happens though. Yeah. But that's good. We got uh, ball bearings. 4Gs. Yeah, supposedly and this turbo price. is a ceramic ball bearing, which is probably why it makes so much horsepower on that on size. On that of small turbo. size of turbo, yeah. Yeah. Compared to your big boy red I there. Don't know what, I don't know what like the equivalent of like 
character would you though? Uh, 35? Or 30? Uh, it's probably like a, uh, like a 32. The world of Google. 32 something. It's a 6062 Turbonex T T04E. That's the one. Uh, With a 0.63 exhaust housing. So it's a little small housing. But 60 I, millimeter gear turbo. Let's see here. GT2860. Or it would be a GT2862R, I guess. Maybe? No, it's definitely bigger than that. It's, yeah. the, it's probably like a GT30 something. But, 60 millimeter. But like Gen 2 or whatever bullshit, yeah. you know? It says like 60 mil, but. Mm. Yeah? I mean, like, it says you can make 600 horsepower with that turbo. 675. So you need the big, you need the big exhaust yeah, housing. Yeah, yeah, big. But that's the thing. So now, the second, if this thing outrun, outruns its turbo, all we do is replace the uh, the fancy doohickey little thing there. Yeah, yeah, and it, I checked yesterday, and it's only 280 bucks to upgrade. Free power. <laughs> so that is. Free There's also power. one that has like a wastegate exactly where I welded mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, like yeah. actually just came like that. Yeah, it comes like that, but with a 38 mil okay. flange, but whatever. That's what it is. That oh. one will do. I also uh, made this uh, quick cash can oh, setup. Yeah, nice. NOS, uh, NOS can, drill the hole, put an AN fitting with uh, some uh, right stuff silicone and just an AN hose. There you go. I drilled some holes so it has like expansion. Because we thought like maybe the turbo, uh, the gasket on the oil pan were blowing out because of the, you know, crankcase pressure or whatever. So I'm like, take out the PCV valve right here, put in a straight AN fitting yep. so it has no restriction into a can with uh, air holes. Now, I still need to get one for the back of the head, so I just have it straight dumped there, but we're gonna <laughs> probably gonna add like a little, uh, either a filter right off the head, or we're gonna bring another fitting into here. For now, but I have to get temporary more, stuff. I have to get more hose. That is what it is. We got some hose. But you know what? She sounded good. It did sound good. good it dude. did sound good, it did sound good. You're like, excited. that Green Evo don't sound like uh, No, it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't, not at all. Okay. That Green Evo stock. Yeah. But that's it. The car's in. She uh, lives today to tell another tale until Dino Day number Dino goes. Day number four. Yeah. Is it number four? Yeah. Yeah. But this year. Not this two. year. Just two. But two. Still. Yeah. So. What's well, on? But I'm done for tonight. Like no, I'm so happy. Hell's yeah. Runs. That's why you did a donut. I did a donut. The, the tuner told you not to go crazy, but you're like. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't go crazy. No, I know you didn't. Because if I was crazy, I would have fucking held that thing in the red line. What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have one, two, three, four. To... But I was like, just trying to see like if it would break loose, and then I saw like a car coming, and I was like, I better just do one last one yeah. and like peel out, <laughs> peel out into my driveway. That's it. And that's what. That's all she wrote, folks. Yeah. There's another day. But like the clutch feels. Not in the too land. Stiff. The four G snow. Like the, the clutch pedal? No, it doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I modified the pedal so it would feel that, that way. Because I found, like, when I put the ACT in, yeah, it was heavy as hell. It was so stiff. Like, yeah, I was like, right. oh my God. Yeah, it's not horrible to drive in, but it's. No. But that one, like, you feel it. And you can feel it when, like, you let go of the clutch too quick. It's like, clonk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diff lock up. Yeah, yeah. I know how it is in my beautiful project car. Eight years. Definitely needs alignment too. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. You'll get there. There's some alignment plates sitting up there. Yep. For now, Dino number one. All right. I'm gonna go figure shit out. Do it. But thank you for watching. Subscribe for the more videos, please. Also, um, if you guys want to know something, I have a new sponsor. It's called the Evo Shop. Basically, uh, if you go and anything you buy on that website and you use promo code BOSSMASTER, you will get free shipping in North America. It's true. He's right. I'm the one who told him to do it. <laughs> he told me to do it. <laughs> so, go on. Uh, the, the link will be in the description. And uh, support them. Support the guys. Support me. And uh, yeah, we'll keep I'll building see you guys cars. Next time, peace out.